So DICE gave us access to the They Shall Not Pass DLC on CTE, which is supposed to stand for Community Test Environment, but I like to call it Community Try Hard Environment because most people in there are either YouTubers or people that take the game way too seriously and seem to hate the whole concept of fun. Stop enjoying yourself! And because there's so much to cover, I'd rather just shotgun it to you instead of following meticulous formatting, so please forgive my terrible accent as I rip through all these details because the only French word in my vocabulary is MERDE. Starting with the behemoth, it is just as gigantic and menacing as you imagined it would be, to the point where AT rocket shells only inflict one to two damage. It's analogous to a small child throwing tennis balls at Godzilla. God damn it! Fuck! I was extremely butt frustrated trying to take this thing down, not only because I felt as if I was the only one actively trying to destroy it, but once I did destroy it, I was only rewarded with, what, 1500 points? Which is equivalent to capping one to two conquest flags, which in layman terms is not worth it at all. That shit is fucking trash, dog! Furthermore, there are eight tanks and four planes on this Soissons map, which has me confused as to why anyone would ever choose anything other than assault, but I'll take any excuse to cheese the shit out of the opposition with my AT rocket gun. If you want to win this map, you have to crush the enemy team's armor, which I'm so dedicated to doing, I will throw all of my AT rocket shells and nades at you until my dying breath on a streak of repetitive, inevitable suicide. It looks like he may commit suicide. Ah, oh. Suicide is badass. Leg drop. But hey, throwing yourself into the middle of the action while launching as many explosives as possible at the enemy results in some magical moments every once in a while. What the fuck just happened? Like for that entire sequence of 20 seconds, I had no idea what was going on. Just screaming and bodies and explosions and... What? In case it wasn't conspicuous already, the section of the map in between and including the CND flags is a complete shitstorm of vehicles, grenade spam, and SMGs. So if you happen to wander that way, buckle up for maximum screen shake and bullets on top of bullets to shred you in half. Alright, I know this looks bad, but it's actually really, really bad. Please come help me out! Speaking of SMGs, there's this new one that everyone's talking about, yet nobody seems to have unlocked, and it's pretty simple as to why. The requirements to unlock it are to perform 50 kills with the Automatico, or K10 if you're in on that joke, which is a piece of cake, but you also need 20 headshots with the MP18 optical. Now if you're a long time viewer, you know that I can be a pedantic piece of shit sometimes, but this 20 headshot requirement is equal parts tedious, obnoxious, and laughably stupid, and whoever came up with it should be suspended without pay. Not really, but man was I ever butt frustrated. If it's headshots with a sniper rifle, totally fine. Even a semi-auto rifle, completely understandable. But an SMG with cluster non-linear recoil that takes sometimes three to four bullets to the head in order to kill someone? In the words of Rick and Morty, that's retarded. Oh, what the fuck ever? It may not seem that annoying or difficult when watching footage of it, but once you try it out for yourself, I think you'll understand. And if it happens to be easy for you, allow me to compliment you on your outstanding accuracy and luck. God damn it! But one caveat that I must add is that when I was unlocking the weapon, the servers were experiencing some of the worst lag that I've ever seen. Antarctica? What the fuck? 
Not that it was always bad, because sometimes I could tiptoe around bullets like I was Superman before I stabbed somebody in the spleen. Please, no! But now that it's all over, I can easily say that it was worth it, because the SMG that they reward you with is amazing. The official name is something like the Ribby Rollis, but I call it the Ribeye because it has some meaty damage behind it and I absolutely love it. Not to say that there aren't other nicknames floating around CTE right now. Hey, got my Rolls Royce SMG thing. Now I could cover the above average rate of fire and hardy damage, but that's pretty damn boring. The major standout feature of this thing is that you have a bipod on an SMG. If you can manage to dial back the intensity and be a little bit more patient, the bipod on this thing combined with the damage it can deal in a short space of time means that you can shred people in half throughout the halls of Fort Deval, or also known as FDV. I'm not gonna run around calling this thing OP just yet, but I do have a theory as to why it happens to be so damn effective on this new map that is reminiscent of Operation Lockers from BF4. Well, I've killed you a lot! Given that everyone hones in on the objective in CTE due to the heightened skill level, it usually results in you and all of your teammates running around the map in a giant flag-capping cluster, almost like your bees or something, so if you were to ask me what the squad mates are like in CTE, I would have to say Belligerent and numerous. Now because the enemies are doing the same thing, as in clustering up and forcing themselves down corridors and hallways, you can throw down your ribeye rifle on any surface that lets you deploy a bipod and murder entire squad squads by yourself. Just be careful because sometimes if you deploy the ribeye's bipod on the wrong surface, you can trigger it and it gets super offended. On that note, I don't completely hate this FDV map. I was certainly expecting to given that it's a maze of hallways, but they're widened hallways compared to Operation Locker and the nade spam is slowly getting better. It's still outrageously bad, but it's improving. This game could use nukes. I know it's not historically correct, but who cares? And that's about it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time when Clarence has the same stupid look on his face. Like a park.